Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Anderson. Recently, the good folks at the Aweber email distribution company uh, made a significant change to their HTML editor. And although this new editor makes life very easy for folks who want to use one of the custom templates provided by Aweber, it's a little bit of a challenge if you're using a custom template that you developed yourself. The purpose of this short video is to show people who want to uh, use their, custom, their own personally developed custom template with the new Aweber uh, HTML editing tool. So let's take a look and see how you do that. I'm in Aweber right now. I'm taking a look at one of my mailing lists. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here to uh, one of the uh, emails I sent out a little while ago. And the reason I'm going to be doing this is because I want to capture the, the HTML code that I use to build my email uh, that I send out. So we'll go down here, click on this to review it. Now this is what the email that I sent out, this is my custom HTML format. It's nothing special, it's neither better nor worse than what uh, the good folks at Aweber have come up with for their standard set, but it's the one that I want to use. So I'm going to click on view source. Right, what I'm going to do is go up here, copy it all, say copy, poof, and we're done. Alright, so now it's time to go create a brand new email using the Aweber email distribution service. So I'll click on broadcast. Now for this particular email I want to send out, I want to send a split test broadcast, which means I will send, uh, I'll create two separate emails, and I'll send one to 50% of the audience, and one to the other 50%. So I'm going to say create a split test. Give it just a moment to get it back together. Here we go. All right. So you can see that two separate emails have been created. This is great. Now remember, they're blank emails, so there's nothing in them. So now what I need to do is I need to go here and say, hey, I'd like to go ahead and do, uh, edit this one. Notice that it's filling, uh, it's loading up the fancy new Aweber HTML editor. Okay, it says go ahead and create a subject. Uh, so I can do that pretty easily. Uh, now it says templates. Great. So I click on templates. And well, you'll see that it brings up. There's a whole bunch of very, very nice looking templates, but what's interesting is I don't want to use any of the uh, templates that are provided by Aweber. I want to use my very own. So I can click, go down here and I can click on what's called Template Editor, which allows me to create my very own Aweber email template. And it says, okay, create a new template. Fantastic. I'll go ahead and do that. Got to give the template a name. All right, and then I can go down here, and now it gives me a chance to basically type in my HTML code. Now, in all honesty, the HTML code that I've been using for my Aweber uh, emails using the custom template, it's pretty lousy stuff. <laughs> in all honesty, it, over time, it's become garbled and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to a website. Actually, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to save my code. I'm going to go ahead and paste that code that I copied. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Save as. I'm going to call it HTML code. Save. It already exists, but that's fine. I'll overwrite it. Boop. Get rid of that. I can go to the site called valet.htmlhelp.com backslash tidy. And it's going to give me a chance to upload my code. Okay. And I can say I want to go ahead and indent the content. I'm going to say, just give me the code only, and it's going to process it. Notice that this should look very familiar. This is effectively the uh, HTML version of the email that I sent out. Okay. What's interesting, just a real quick talk here, is that um, the email that I sent out actually has two parts that get changed every month. There are three, one, two, and then down here, three different articles that get updated each month. And then over here on the right side, there's one, <laughs> there's one two, three, four links to blog postings that get updated each month. Let me go in, uh, I'm using Firefox here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on options. Oops, I'm sorry, web developer. I'm gonna say I'd like to see the view of the page source. Notice it shows me the page source. What's really nice now is that it's all, <laughs> it's all beautifully formatted, much nicer than it was. So let me go ahead and highlight some of it. Go ahead and highlight all of it. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, copy. 
fantastic. Done with that. Now we're going to go here to the template editor, and we'll just go ahead and paste it in. All right. So if I do a quick preview here, once again, remember, this is what we just saw. So uh, the good folks at uh, Aweber now tell me that what I'll probably want to do is I want to carve out Article 1, Article 2, and Article 3. And then I want to come over here to the right side. I'm going to want to carve out 1, 2, 3, 4 on the, on the links that I do here. And I'm going to want to replace it with some of their custom code that then allows me to get it to work with their um, uh, fancy new HTML editor. Up here on top, you can see that they have some code, aw body, aw header, aw footer, and a little diagram. What this is, is it says where in your code you'd like to be able to make it so that you can drop in parts that can be changed uh, in your template. Go ahead and put this code, aw body. Okay? Same thing for a, a header, same thing for a footer, and then you get a choice of three sidebars, one, two, and three, that you can add. And once again, the little blue area here indicates uh, the area that you're going to be able to change. Think of it as a box that you're going to be able to drop into various parts that are going to be able to be changed. So let's take a, go picking through my code here. We took the time to make it look nice, so it should be hopefully a lot easier <laughs> to find things where things are. This is the header portion that doesn't change. Thankfully, I've actually documented my code a little bit. So you can see it says uh, Article 1 here. So starting with Article 1, I'm going to want to cut it out. And if I go down here a little bit, and I cheated because I took a look a little while ago, so I sort of know where I want to go. Poof, it's right there and I can delete that. Put in a couple blank lines so I remember where I'm at. So what I'm going to want to do is type in that um, custom code, aw body. Okay, remember this is custom code that's uh, going to be uh, used by the Aweber HTML editing tool. It says effectively between those two center statements um, allow the user to drop in any new code that they want. Now the other part of my HTML template that I'm going to want to be able to change every month is going to be over on the right hand side uh, where I have those links. So let's go see if we can find those right now. Okay. Recent uh, posts, alright, so it looks like we're getting pretty close. I think about right here is where we want to go, alright. We'll start highlighting there. Let's go down a little bit. And I believe that that's going to be it. Put a couple blank lines so we can tell where we're at. And that should make us golden. All right, and here what we're going to put, we're going to put the custom AW sidebar. Poof. And that's effectively it. So now let's go down here. We're going to go ahead and we can preview it. Okay. So we have our sidebar. <laughs> it says AW sidebar up there and it looks AW body down there. So effectively, we have our template now. So we can go down here. We can go close preview. And we're going to go down here. We're going to head, set, go ahead and save. You notice that we have this uh, brand new template that's been created. Fantastic. So now we'll go back up here. We'll go back up to our broadcast messages. We'll go ahead and select the first message. Now it says, hey, let's go ahead and select a template. This is the template that we just did. We're going to say start over. So in other words, don't keep any text there. Fantastic. Now, we're into the fancy new editor. Okay, You'll see that it has a sample article already here. Remember, this is that uh, AW body part. If I wanted to, now, let's see, I think I, and that's it. It only comes with one article that it automatically plugs into that. So if I have, I want to have three articles. So I'm going to go up here and click on article. I'll drag it down there, click. Now I'm going to have two. I go down here and click on article. I can drag down here, click. So what you'll see is over here now in my, once again, still template, I have uh, an article that I can 1, 2, and 3. Remember in the new editor, all I have to do is click on it, and then I can change that text to anything I want. Now over on the right-hand side here, you'll see that there's some text in there. <laughs> Basically, uh, if I want to put more text over there, I'm going to go ahead and grab a paragraph and drop it in. Remember, these are going to be changed into HTML links. So I could just very quickly go. And 
and I'm good to go. And then I can go ahead and drop two more in there. I can edit those and I'll have my links. And that's all there is to it, really. It took, a, it took me quite some time to figure out exactly how this worked. But effectively, this is where we're at. So the nice thing about it is, yeah, okay, this probably is a better way of doing things. Um, I've lost some of the detail that I used to have in my individual uh, articles uh, as far as some date stuff and some fancy formatting that I was doing. But probably overall, what I've gained is probably a little bit better. And that's it. That's what you need to know. Uh, after you get everything done, you can click come over here, click Save. Takes us to another page. Oops. Go ahead and click Next. They ask you if you want to do social stuff. The answer is, in my case, no. Don't want to do any social stuff with it. Next. They ask you when do you want to send it out. You go ahead and pick a date. You're good to go. And then just click Save Message and poof. You've used the uh, brand new Aweber uh, fancy HTML editor. Uh, with your brand new customized template for the way you want it to look. And that's all there is. Thanks for listening.